we started our second day with a nice brunch. Waiting until Vanessa opens her YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Which I finally did! Woo! But seriously, editing videos takes a long time, especially when you have a full-time job and you just started learning how to edit videos. But it's a lot of fun. So the initial plan was to get this video out before Christmas, but not gonna happen. Yeah, so when you watch this video, it will probably be after Christmas and hopefully still before New Year. So Happy New Year! How do you like my Christmas tree? The good thing about Christmas trees is that you can still enjoy them even after Christmas. I will definitely enjoy this one until like mid-January, so I still have something to look at when the cozy time is over. Let me know how long you usually let your Christmas tree stand. But now let's get started with the video! Just average. Yeah, I like that. Ah, this is the okay. A cork store? I wonder that is open. <laughs> Me too. It was Sunday, so we didn't expect stores to be open here. Oh no, so what happened? Everything made of cork. What is this? It's a candle. Okay. No, it's so. Oh, it's so. I smell super nice. Eucalyptus. Mm. It smells so good. You can find many things made of cork in Portugal. Did you know that cork is actually antibacterial? We thought that Braga was pretty much Porto, but without tourists and without the river. Also a bit colder. How we can get a message after the working. Let's see the price. <laughs> Oof, okay. Head, neck and shoulders. The completely one is 45, 60 minutes. Jeez. Well, 30 minutes, 25 euros. Hmm. Maybe I have the wrong career. I should be a muscle. Maybe. If the rest are open when we come back, why not? <laughs> oh, look at those beautiful bicycles! Can we have a look? It looks like my bike. Oh, this is rent a bike. One hour for you. They are all so beautiful. Actually, Portugal streets are so uneven and covered in tiny tiles that I wonder why retro bikes are so popular here. This one is so cute. This one, I love the colors. Wonderful Christmas is you. We passed by this church and had a look inside. Personally, I'm not very religious. But the architecture of churches is something I admire. Since Catholicism is the dominant religion in Portugal, most churches here have a very pompous interior decor. A cat on a leash. So cute. Let me take a video of that ugly tree. <laughs> so not all of Braga is beautiful, apparently. Just like in every city. Then we left the city center to walk to our main attraction, an UNESCO World Heritage, the Sanctuary of Bom Jesus. So green. The sanctuary is built on a sacred hill because it illustrates the European tradition of creating sacred mountains. 
as you can see we had to climb up many many stairs good that we had a good brunch roses in December <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't take only the pancakes because I was going to bring like a pottery. Oh yes. The egg and the... Oh no. Hello, this is there. So I guess Google Maps is fooling oh, us. This is, this is the entrance actually. Entrance to what? To the... I think it's plain. I know to the elevator. There is a tram! To the elevator. Yeah, the tram. But where does it go to? And what's the schedule? It's almost five and it's going to get uh, dark soon, so I don't know if it's a good... Uh, see? That was... Oh, okay. What did he say? It's, all, it's, this, it's the last one. Huh? Okay, uh, one is going right now, uh -huh. and the last is 7.50. Coming back? Coming back. But then uh, it will be dark already. Yeah. Do you want to go? Do you want to? <laughs> This elevator is by the way the first funicular elevator in the Iberian Peninsula and today it is the oldest such lift in the world. Funicular means that it operates with counterbalance. Two carriages move synchronized as one ascends, the other descends at equal speed. The elevator was built in 1882 by Braga's businessman Manuel Joaquim Gomez. However, the designers were the Portuguese engineer with French parentage, Raoul Mesnier du Pont Saint. I hope I didn't butcher the pronunciation, sorry French people. And the Swiss engineer Nicolaus Regenbach. <laughs> And I think we can also go back just by yourself, it's not that far. The worst is the... We can go up? Okay. Cuidado. Since 1882. <laughs> oh, wow. This is what I imagine in my head when I think about Europeans. So, wow. The view is mesmerizing. The sanctuary's roots go back to the 14th century. It was developed over a period of more than 600 years, primarily in Baroque style, as you can see. Nowadays, it is both a major tourist and pilgrim attraction. I guess this is a tourist shop. Beautiful garden. Pedro! 
Just the screaming of tourists kinda ruined the atmosphere. Since I'm living in Portugal, I notice how loud Spanish people can be in comparison to Portuguese. <laughs> The sanctuary's church was built between 1784 and 1811. We could not go inside as there was a mass. So we just enjoyed the view outside. We were lucky to be there at sunset, so we had the best view. my life, love of my life. I think I'm lost in your eyes, eyes. I know you'll always be mine, mine. Cause I'm the reason you die. Hey. I know you'll always be beside me. I feel your spirit inside me. And I know that I'm living by your grace. You love me with a love that's overflowing. Overwhelming, got me feeling like I'm floating. And when you hold me tightly in your warm embrace, God, I remember. I know you'll still be you You're the constant when everything else is changing See it in the things you do And I know your heart is true You're good for me like no one else could be And I know you always 